I'm stud, and I'm gonna show you all the secret locations in Apocalypse Rising 2. And by secret location, I mean a location that isn't marked on the map that is also pretty cool and stands out. All right, so place number one is right here. It is located between coastal bunkers and Ashland along the beach on this cliff. And what it is, is it is a zombie cave. It spawns in these boss zombies, which are German infantrymen. And every single one of them drop an MP40 SMG, which is a rare weapon. And essentially it goes way back here and more than one spawn, sometimes three. Yep, there's a third one right here. Three of them can spawn here, and they do not take any knockback. I, I'm so thankful that they didn't just destroy me right there. And look at that. One of them dropped the rare German infantry shirt. You can get the full outfit here. So, yeah, look at this. They've got a little house in here. They've got a little, like, set up, a campfire. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a cool little secret location that, as you can see, is not marked at all. But, yeah, that's location number one. When you're in Hastings, you see this building, and you just think it's a regular building. But when you walk inside, there is something different about it. So, you have to go up the stairs, and you see this. There is an open closet door, and there is a bunch of stuff inside, including whatever this is. I don't think this is supposed to be here. Uh, I don't know. But there is a crate with stuff in it and uh, just a bunch of cool things. So that is uh, the second location on this list. All right, I got a speedboat. So now I can show you guys these locations a lot faster because it's taking me way longer than I expected to be able to do this. All right, so I just got off my boat and I'm on my way to a really cool place right in between Destroyer Shipwreck and uh, radio station so this secret location is located right in this barn so all we have to do is go straight through this little or big door dude i don't know what i'm talking about and up here in this haystack you can go around here to this secret stairway and down here there is a bunch of emo zombies who want to just mess me up bro what are you doing down here what were you doing down here? I don't even want to know. All right, so, yep, this is pretty much just, like, a little, like, bunker that is hidden inside of a barn. And, uh, yeah, there's actually a good amount of stuff that can spawn down here. Um, but, yep, it's just right around this little, uh, hay bale area. All right, so this next location actually has a few different spots, and look at that. He's here. This is the new boss zombie, the pirate, and he has an opportunity to drop... First of all, the pirate shirt. Oh, I don't even have the pirate shirt yet. But he can drop the pirate bicorn, which is just a pirate hat, which I'm wearing right now. A broadside Lupara, which I will be taking. And also, there is a chance, which it did, for these to spawn. These things are pretty much alcohol. And uh, they are overpowered. So there's a lot of places where the pirate can spawn on the map. But this is just one of the secret places. There's actually one uh, up here by Huron. But yep, look at this. I've got the scurvy energy tonic. I'm only going to take the Lupara for flex purposes. I'm going to put it in the back of my boat just to flex that I have a special weapon. All right, here is the next secret location. There is a brand new island right by Beaufort, and it has a secret cave, bro. Look at this. It goes forever, dude. All right, so in this cave, you find what is in here? Um, nothing. But it looks like there's an opportunity for a good gun to spawn. There's probably a unique gun that's going to spawn in here or in here. I've never seen that before. But moving on, let's get back into the boat and I will show you the next location, which is actually not far from here. All right, we are arriving at the next location and it looks like we can just drive straight in. This is the biggest hidden location in the game and it is located directly under Buford. I actually don't know. I think it's some sort of militia place. There's a cross. Uh, there's a lot of zombies that spawn down here like this one that's just eating the wall. I don't know what you're doing but you're dead now. But this is actually probably one of my favorite locations just because of how big it is. There's even a fishing pole. Look at that cute little fishing pole. And also all these zombies are coming at me all at once. Please go away. You can access this location from Buford right here. You can open up this little secret latch and then close it because nobody can ever know and look where you are right at Buford this hidden little area right here all right let's get out of here there's way too many zombies. no I ruined my boat no dude come on well we're back walking again dude uh that boat was very very convenient now I'm a I'm just a poor man uh, running through the forest and I'm not happy about it But it's a good thing that we're actually very close to the next spot, which is right here All right, here it is and actually fun fact. There's two of these buildings 
There's uh, one located right here, and there's actually one located somewhere in this area. I think it might be this one, um, but yeah, there's two of these, and I'll show you what's so special about this disgusting shack. So inside this shack, there is a ladder down and a stupid zombie. Leave me alone, man. Down here is like a bunker basement and like a dead animal, dude. That's, that's, uh, okay. But you can find a lot of stuff down here. You can find ammo, you can find guns, you can find uh, a safari hat but yeah those are all the places i can think of off the top of my head so let me know if you find any other secret locations or if there's any that i just missed that are super obvious but more apoc 2 videos coming out i'm gonna try to put out a bunch this week and uh yeah i appreciate everything guys and uh subscribe right now